Parallel Finance broken their promise or were they just pipe dreams to begin with? Is Lojan facing a new competitor? Also, what is Manta Network doing? More Polygon? Let the chaos and drama begin. Hello and welcome to Crypto's Chain. My name is Claudio. Parallel Finance's days are numbered and the current crowd loan contributions towards PAR ID 3350, which is theirs, aren't looking good. But with Auction 52 having started a number of days ago, Logan are also facing some struggle. An anonymous self-bidding PAR ID 3353 is battling for the slot with Logan and are currently in the lead when it comes to bids won. Could this be Parallel Finance under a different identity or could it be that 3350 was just a decoy to make us think all hope is lost for C.613 holders? I still don't know, but hopefully it is them and they will keep that promise towards the community. Moving on to the parachains, Akala announced an ECA USDCT liquidity pool which they've started bootstrapping for. Kala also announced that the crowd loan unlock will happen on the 24th of October at 1.58 a.m. UTC. That means you'll be able to redeem your LC.4 DOT after that time. Many teams across the ecosystem are desperately promoting the hashtag stake DOT on X in order to get people to stake once the unlock happens and not to... <laughs> yeah, that. that is disgusting. Astar Network announced that they're integrating with Quickswap Dex, which is a Dex that provides leverage trading. So be very, very careful with that because you don't want to be liquidated. Speaking of Astar, Polkadex also announced that they've opened up the HRMP channel with Astar Network so that they can list the Astar coin on Polkadex and will do so on the 18th of October, which is today. I do, however, hope that we'll see more liquidity so that people can use the trading pairs without getting slaughtered in slippage. Subsocial announced that cross-chain transfers are enabled again on one of their dApps called Sub.id as they had been previously disabled due to a bug introduced by an XCM upgrade which the team has since resolved. Fala Network's Joshua announced that he'll be leading a workshop which will show devs how to make cross-chain dApps easy and cheap using Polygon ZK EVM and Fala's path contract written in JavaScript. And this is what Polkadot has always been about, collaboration and interoperability. And Fala are pushing that vision forward. Definitely shouldn't be tribalism when it comes to L1's on Polkadot choosing to work with Polygon, Celestia or other blockchains. It's how they develop and grow and it's something that should be embraced. Manta are also partnering with Polygon to transition Manta specific to a ZKVM using Polygon CDK. Polkadot also announced that Zeitgeist users can now make directional predictions of two prominent markets from Coindesk indices and they held an X Spaces conversation in which over 380 people tuned into. That's it for today's short video. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.